Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. This is part two of the two-part review I'm filing on PTC's Pro Engineer Wildfire 5.0. If you haven't seen the first one, don't worry, you can always watch it later. Unlike daytime soap episodes of All My Children or General Hospital, you can watch my reports in the wrong order and still make sense of them. I promise. In this part, let's take a look at Wildfire's tools for handling plastic or shell parts. Specifically, let's look at its trajectory ribs creation method. What I plan to do is to create ribs that go out in all these different directions and terminate when they come in contact with nearby solids and surfaces. Now, of course, I can do it the old-fashioned way, one rib at a time, or I can use the trajectory ribs dialog box like this. And if I want the same treatment on those two circular features, I can simply copy the trajectory ribs that I've already created from the model tree and paste it onto those circular features like this. Moving on to sheet metal, let's see how we go about creating a whole bunch of these little tabs along this edge. It calls for patterning along an edge, like this. Now once you have created those, you can in fact duplicate the entire series along with these nearby features on the opposite side of the plate. This is where you use the mirror function by referencing an imaginary center plane. Now in this release, PTC gives you a 3D model. It's just called a mannequin, a generic 3D human figure. But I call mine Bob. Feel free to name yours any way you like. Now you can use Bob to better understand the proportions of your mechanical assemblies in relation to an average person's physique. That tells you if certain levers are too high for Bob or someone to reach for and to give Bob enough clearance so that he can remove certain parts. You can adjust Bob's postures, put him into a crouching pose or a bendy position. See, Bob is a contortionist. So you get a better understanding of the risk of ergonomics and repetitive motion stress on your employees. You could also use Bob to make sure that certain critical dials and display panels are within his line of sight. That way you design them at the right height. You might also want to adjust Bob's parameters, height for one thing, to better suit your target environment to account for regional differences, like for instance the difference between an average Asian worker's dimensions as opposed to a North American worker. Wildfire 5.0 is, in my view, a significant release because, among other things, it adds dynamic edits push-pull geometric modeling. It's a powerful, sophisticated software package, so if you're new to it, 
you should prepare to spend a fair amount of time in it before feeling comfortable with its procedures. Many of the new tools in this release are designed to help you do complex operations in fewer steps. Well, this concludes the video report of PTC Pro Engineer Wildfire 5.0, but a detailed review of the same software will appear in print in Desktop Engineering Magazine, so look for it. You can find the first part of this report in DE's YouTube channel called DE Streaming or by going to my blog, Virtual Desktop. In the meantime, this is Kenneth Wong and Bob the Mannequin bidding you farewell for Desktop Engineering Magazine.